In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit green screen footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So let's begin with Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you open up Premiere, you first want to begin by creating a brand new sequence and dragging your footage onto your timeline. And once you've done this, you can go ahead and create a mask around your footage. It can be extremely strenuous on your computer to remove the green part of the video. So if you create a mask around the edge of the green screen, then it means that your computer isn't necessarily reading those parts of the footage. So rather than dropping a green screen effect on this entire video, I'm just gonna zoom out. We'll go to the pen tool in opacity, and I'm just gonna create a square mask around the inside of the green screen. This means the computer doesn't have to analyze the left and the right side of the video. This means it's gonna be quicker and easier for you to get through multiple different shots of green screen footage. So once you've made that cut, we can zoom back into 100%. And from here, we'll go into effects, search for key. And you've got a few different options for green screen here, but I like to use color key. Drop color key onto your footage. And inside of the color key tab on the left of Premiere, you want to use this eyedropper tool to select a color that is very close to the talent. So select roughly here. And then inside of this, you just want to increase the color tolerance up to a higher number. So you want to remove the green part of the video, but pay very close attention to the person on screen. So let me zoom all the way in to my face. And as you can see, if I pull the color tolerance way too high, then parts of my hair, my eyebrows, my chin, my t-shirt, they all start to disappear, which means if we add a background behind the person, then the background will bleed through those parts that are now missing. So you have to pay very close attention to the color tolerance. Make sure the background disappears, but also make sure that your talent doesn't disappear. Now, if you get a green outline around the edge of your subject, then you can just go ahead and you can increase your edge thin. You can increase this or you can decrease this. Just don't increase it too much because if you increase it too much, then unfortunately it's gonna start eating into your subject. So if you're going to use this, just use one or two, but I'm just gonna use zero for now. And then of course you can go ahead and you can add a little bit of feathering around the edge of your subject, but I don't like to use too much feathering because it makes it look like the subject is slightly out of focus. So I keep this to a very small number of around 0.5. Now we'll zoom out of that. And as you can see, even though I've pulled the color tolerance to match the subject, the background hasn't quite disappeared, but it doesn't matter because this is in the bottom left and the bottom right of the video. So from here, I'm going to go back to mask one. That is the original mask that we created to chop off the left and the right side of the frame. We'll zoom out a little bit. We'll create a new point on the mask, roughly halfway up the left side, and we'll pull the bottom left in a touch. We'll do the same on the right. We'll zoom back in. And as you can see, those green parts of video should have now disappeared. If they don't disappear completely, then you can just go ahead and change the mask. So you can pull that closer to your subject if you need to, or you can go ahead and increase the scale so you can increase the scale to a higher number, pull the framing up, and that will avoid that bottom part of the video appearing on screen. So if we go ahead and go back to our project, we'll go new item, black video. We'll press okay on the black video. We'll pull video layer one, that is our green screen footage, up onto video layer two. Drag the black video onto video layer one. Go into effects, search for tint. Drop tint onto the black video and map the black to a color of your choice. I'm going to select yellow. And as you can see, if you've keyed your footage correctly, you'll notice that your subject is now on a different color background to the original footage. So that is how you edit green screen footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump over to After Effects and I'll show you how to do the same technique over in After Effects. So when you're editing green screen footage inside of After Effects, the process is very similar, but you have to use a different plugin to color key inside of After Effects. So we'll begin with the same masking process. We'll zoom out of our footage, go up to the pen tool on the top of After Effects, 
and draw a mask around our green screen. Now we'll zoom back in, go to effects and presets and we'll search for key. In the search results, you'll find keying and there's color difference key, inner outer key, key cleaner, key light and linear color key. There's also the color key and luma key options, but I'm going to select key light for this example. Drop key light onto the footage and like we did with the color key in Premiere, we're going to use the screen color eyedropper to select a green close to the subject. And instantly you'll notice that the background disappears. Key light is much more powerful than color key. So if you can use After Effects over Premiere Pro, then I would suggest doing so because you get greater control and easier green screen editing functions in After Effects. Now, because this is technically a transparent video, we don't need to see the black behind the subject. We can turn on this transparent video option and this means we can see what's transparent and what is not. So obviously because we didn't green screen the subject, the subject isn't transparent, but we're removing the background, which means the background should be transparent. But as you can see, there is a faint black box around the subject and that is the green screen not properly removed. So we need to go into key light and jump into a few different settings to get rid of the background. Now inside of key light, I'm gonna go in to view I'm going to change final result to status. Now, as you can see, white is your subject and black should be transparency. Anything that is gray is somewhere in between. And this is what we want to try and get rid of. We want the background to be completely black and the subject to be completely white. So the key here is to get rid of everything gray. So I'm going to start by increasing the screen gain. We'll pull this all the way up. And as you can see, that's starting to look a little better. There's next to no gray on the background, but there is gray on the subject. So now I'm going to move down to the screen balance. Playing with the screen balance is giving us mixed results. So I'm not going to do too much with screen balance, but from here, I'm going to move down to screen matte. We'll open this up and we've got a few different settings inside of screen matte, which are going to help us get this subject to fully white. So I'm going to start by increasing the clip black. As you can see, that's not doing much. We'll pull down the clip white. And as you can see, that's getting us pretty much there. Of course, though, there is a little bit of green outline and a little bit of a gray outline around the subject. So this isn't quite perfect. So you can go ahead and mess with all of these other settings. But if you want to see your progress, then all you have to do is press status, go down to final result, zoom back out. And if we play this back, you'll notice that that black border that was around the subject before we adjusted these settings has now disappeared. So I'm pretty happy with this key. That looks fairly good. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new background behind the subject and see how we're doing. So I'm going to go layer, new, solid. We'll change the color of this to anything you like. I'm going to select a nice aqua blue. We'll drag that behind the subject. And there you go. There's no overlay from the background. The background isn't bleeding into the subject. That is a really successful key. So now that you've successfully keyed your footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, you're free to go crazy and clone yourself as many times as you like and just create something really awesome and really weird. So there you go. That is how you edit your green screen footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. So if you feel like you learned something in today's video, or if you feel like you just enjoyed this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, like I say in every single video, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time for another brand new video.